Hello everybody, Herp Derp, I'm Lars, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In the last episode, we finished up 3-1 Grassland Groove, 3-2 Baobab Bonanza, and 3-3 Frantic Fields of the Bright Savannah. And in this part, we're going to be taking on 3-4 Scorch in Torch. So, as soon as the day ends on this 3-4 level, we're going to be playing as, uh, we didn't play as Diddy, Diddy or Cranky. I'll play as Diddy on Scorch and Torch. Let's give him a shot. So, leading into 3-4 Scorching Torch, it's about nighttime right now. The whole forest is on fire. And it really sucks. So, uh, you'll be introduced to these water berries. All you have to do is throw them at a fire and you will put out the fire. You can roll through things and this one over here has an extra life. I already have 99, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, these porcupines will light themselves on fire if they see you. If there was only one in that other level... But, um, the odds are he wouldn't see you, <laughs> and you'd, um, get off scot-free. So since all this crap is burning down, um, you, it, it's essentially so that you can't stand on anything without it breaking. Like, all these baobabs that were dancing earlier are now just destroyed. This is really, like, kind of sad. And almost somber in a way. It's upsetting. So, your first puzzle piece, all you have to do is, like, um, douse these flames, roll over here, and then... Actually, I think you might have to actually just douse everything. I didn't know. I thought you only had to, like, clear that. Do you have to clear all this, uh, grass just to get the puzzle piece? Yeah, you have to clear every last bit of grass. I remember seeing it over here on my first playthrough, because I did that grass first. Uh, there's nothing up there except for that banana coin, I don't care enough. Uh, throw your, throw these, uh, water berries over here. Roll through these guys. Then your K's right up here. Get a big bounce off that guy and you'll get an easy ride up here. This is this one's also burning slowly. Uh, you'll lose the platform eventually, so they're saying, hurry up or else you won't get that K. That is basically it. Uh, one of these berries should douse that entire rope. Uh, you can't hold berries while on the rope, unfortunately. Um, collect all these bananas in a row, I believe, and then you'll get another puzzle piece. Yep, right here. <clears throat> then head right through here. I have six out of seven. I'm pretty sure I know where all of them are. So you need to be careful for these things. This is the first appearance of these totems. These totems weren't, um, were used in, um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, uh, they will crush you if they see you. So you need to be really careful. And you only have one hit. Well, I only have one hit. So, <laughs> be extra super duper careful. Can I get that? I can. Cool. I don't know why I got it. I just did. So here specifically is uh, these fire paths, kind of like coals. If you stand on them, they'll ignite. So you don't want to be under them. There's nothing there. I just wanted to show that off. Uh, collect all these bananas here and get a balloon. Again, I don't need it, but still. I knew I was going to die as soon as I missed him. That sucks. These fire archers, like the one that was crushed, are like barely in the game. Uh, he's right there for at least one of it. And they're really hard to avoid because you can't jump on their, uh, flaming fish. Alright, I'm actually gonna land on him correctly this time. There we go. Got ourselves a banana coin. This guy over here, slam him down. Just to get a banana. <laughs> you can kill these guys no problem with these water berries. They are infinite. You can just pick one up right out of here and it'll just come back every time. So, just pick them up as you see fit. Because you can just slam them into people, or, like, for here, example -y. For here, example -y? Here, for example! I don't know what I just said. Uh, you can roll through that to get these bananas, and you can also slam through it, because there's another puzzle piece right down here. This, uh, banana challenge is kind of annoying. You have to jump up, slam through the ground. It's not as annoying as you might think, because of how, like... I swear these barrels are really, like, nice about, like, you getting inside of them. Um, like that. You can be as, uh, inaccurate as possible and still kind of make it in no matter what. Also, be careful, because I made that mistake before. The puzzle piece doesn't appear in the middle. It appears up here. Because <laughs> I, I remember just once, like, those were the last bananas I had, so I just fell down expecting it to be below me. Nope. It's up there. <laughs> so you need to be extra careful regarding that. Alright, that guy's coming. Slam him down. He doesn't cause the things to th show up. Alright, wait for him. Jump on his head. Slam him down. Get a banana. Oh, I jumped too early. Get 
Now that I actually made it this time, I can collect all these bananas right here. And, uh, <clears throat> this one's really rude. I don't know how you're supposed to get this with one hit point, but you have to be, like, really quick. Maybe when it's, like, down? Shit. Because you have to, like, jump on it immediately. Maybe water douses it a little. Uh, in fact, I have to use water to... Come on. I have to use water to get over here in the first place? Let me try something. Let me throw water on there and see if it douses it enough that I can get it. Oh, I got it does do that! Water does stop these things from happening. I didn't know that. That's so helpful. <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to get that one in this run. I thought you just had to do it really fast, but no. Because you, cause you basically always get hit on that one no matter what. Unless you're, like, actively working to not to get it. So, to get this end, you just have to wait for the trees to fall down. The trees will just fall continuously. So, um, like this one particularly, too. Uh, this one will just fall, and there will also be a puzzle piece at the top. Which is cool. Uh, I don't know which puzzle piece I'm missing. It must be the one at the end. I must have, uh... Because it's actually pretty easy to... Oh, also, there's another one of these guys. I didn't know they would be here. Uh, there's another one of the... There's another thing at the end here that's really hard, particularly, to get. I know this isn't a puzzle piece. It, it might be. I, 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 I'm I just pretty sure it's not. So, specifically, uh, this guy has a water barrier in the back of his head. I don't know why. Yeah, that's a bunch of bananas. Fuck it. I know it's not a puzzle piece. I remember. This isn't either. Uh, moving forward. That's a puzzle piece. Uh, all you have to do is grab one of these water berries over here. Wait for the fire to drop all the way over here so you can have more time. Then you can douse this fire and roll in here. And here's another puzzle room. So we've gotten five out of seven. I know that for a fact. Um, so we just need two more. And, uh, okay. Okay, that scared the crap out of me for no good reason. Diddy's really small and also really hard to collect things with. Diddy's... Basically, it's the hardest Kong to use. I don't think Donkey Kong, in this run specifically, because I have to collect everything? Diddy Kong's just hard to collect things with. Also, that was the one I was missing? Really? I must have failed it before. I almost failed it now! So I can't really can't really say, like, I didn't see it coming. Okay. You can douse those fire things as they fall from the sky, too. They're just hard to get. Uh, jump over here. Uh, jump through here. Then just shoot yourself through. And then your last puzzle piece is through here. This thing will go bump, bump, really high. Bump, bump, really high. And roll through here. Or mow this down and you'll get your last puzzle piece. There you go. Now you can complete the level. I thought I got it. Didn't. Okay. Whatever. It was a really beautiful, really fun level. I'm really happy I beat it. Got everything on hard mode. That's great. I didn't know that you could douse the douse the ground. It makes sense. I'm glad they included something that makes sense. <laughs> so, here's the level that I'm going to be playing three times. You're asking yourself, why am I going to play it three times? Because there's two secret exits. Let's play Scraking on hard mode, shall we? I'll play the level normally because it's not that hard and not that long. I feel like if they made this level too hard... It would be annoying to get all the secret exits, but I'll show you where all of them are. But the first uh, time through, I'm going to show you where um, the first secret exit is. And uh, because the first secret exit is the end and the other one's in the middle, I'll show you the one in the middle uh, when I run through it a second time. So, uh, coming through this level, since you have to do it three times, it's pretty easy to collect everything. You just have to be prepared for it. Uh, first things first, jump in the water before you go in the level. And then, you get a little banana challenge. Collect all these bananas. This one... I don't know about this. This one's just easy compared to the other ones. This one's, uh... I mean, easier than the uh, one where you have to slam down the grate, like the one in the last level. It's a little bit faster, too, but you can still get the same time limit. It's really peculiar. Also, you can see all these, um... Fish down here. Oh, oh they're cute, aren't they? They're gonna be... There's gonna be a lot of dead ones soon. <laughs> 
So, it is a rocket barrel level. It does not matter who you play as. Collect all of these banana bunches. You wanna... Okay. I missed the K and the banana bunches. So, I don't have to do the first part anymore. <laughs> so, uh, it's no reason to cut. It's basically right up here. Whee! And, what the... That... What the fuck? The current, like, took me backwards into that fish. I swear I didn't even swim that way. Okay, fine. Alright, let's... Okay. I did it again. Now go in the barrel! <laughs> uh, this song's good, too. I'm not gonna let... I'm gonna make you listen to it, because I don't think I'm gonna lose that much. But it's a stand... But it's a deviation of the standard, um, rocket barrel theme. Also, you don't get anything for clearing all those big bananas. It just leads you to the K. This one, though... You have to. There you go. Puzzle piece. And then you go under this. So that's two out of five puzzle pieces. They're not that hard to find. Down here is the O. Grab it. Up here would be a heart. <laughs> not in there because this is hard mode. Okay, so now I know that those ones definitely had hearts in them. Okay, that makes sense. You don't have to collect all these. They're just here. If you go down, though, you get a puzzle piece. That's three out of five. This is a good ass song, I tell you what. So, yeah, here's all the dead fish I was promising you earlier. There's another puzzle piece which I cannot believe I got, by the way. And here's the end. Uh, you go under, over, under, over. You go over this one he knocks down, under that one he knocks down. Bada bing, bada boom. So, um, oh, ignore that up there. I'll show you that when we're done. So they're processing all the fish here with the cheese that from the last level, which I think is cool. It's a nice little touch. The cheese is there, too. And there is the fucking G. I'm not starting over. I'm playing this level three times. So eventually I'm going to finish it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, wait. I'm only playing it twice. Also, these guys, uh, the purple ones jump. Uh, these ones do not. So you'll know when they jump, too. So, here comes a final fish! Oh no! Oh no, he didn't get us. So, just fall down normally. Swim down here. And then if you go to this clam, you get yourself another puzzle piece. So, you need Dixie Kong to get through here, but I wanted to show you it here as Cranky Kong. So that's your first secret exit, which will take you to um, 3B. Uh, and this is the regular exit. You just take it when you beat the level. Alright, I'm going to beat this one next time as Dixie Kong and get all the Kong letters, and I will show it off, because I have to beat the level again, anyway. I guess I'll show you where the first one is. After the second section, like before, uh, you'll notice all the fish are getting pulled out of the water here. They're, they're uh, overfishing. They're, they're really evil, they're overfishing. You learn that in school. Um, just going to be knocking these things down. I'm just showing you the full amount. Um, they'll knock up, down, and up. After the uh, fishing section, you just go up instead of down. And in this little hole here, you're going to be introduced to your first secret egg. This secret egg is right here. You can also leave if you wanted to. If you really wanted to. And uh, this second secret exit, I still only have con. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you where the second one is in a second. But that first secret exit will um, shoot you over to here, Rickety Rafters. Uh, the second one will shoot you to Cannon Canyon, which will be the last episode of today. And I'll show you where the other one leads you after I get the next secret exit. I'll be right back. Hey, look, I actually got the G, not like a moron. Woo! Alright, now that I'm down here and doing D Dixie's uh, hairspin, you can move in to this next secret exit. Which will take you right out of the water. Slam the DK barrel a bunch of times. Get uh, 15 banana coins. I almost hit, almost hit 999 again. So I might need to hit up the gachapon machine. I got all the Kong letters, all the puzzle pieces. And we're going to move on to the last level of this episode. So, the last level is Cannon Canyon. But I wanted to show you 
Bramble Scramble is the next level. Uh, you might be thinking that it would play... Oh, it's going to play um uh, the Bra B Bramble Rhapsody from Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> What's it called? Bramble Blast! It's going to play Bramble Blast. No, it's not. Actually, Bramble Blast remix happened at the beginning of Twilight Terror here. Uh, for whatever reason, they put it there instead of in Bramble Scramble, but I digress. We're going to start Canyon Canyon on hard mode with... Um, we just used them, um, Cranky, and we used them a lot before. Uh, let's use DK in Canyon Canyon. Let's give DK his time in the sun. All right. So next up, we got Cannon Canyon. It's not that hard to find the puzzle pieces in this area, honestly. There's uh, only five, and they're pr in pretty plain sight. Uh, the first one, for example. The first one, for example, is over here. You just have to jump over here twice, and then you get to do a secret level. Found your chest, Donkey Kong, because we're going into adventure to get a puzzle piece. It's not that exciting. Hop over here, hop up, down, up, down, all around. Alright. I, I'm pressing the A button at the right time, right? Alright, there we go. Just fall down here and get yourself another puzzle. Not another, your first one. Ignore me. So that's only one. You'll notice all these sleeping archers in their perches, which is kind of weird. You'll also notice all these bombs, which are just hanging from ropes. They really want to, like, destroy this place. This time, instead of letting it hit me, I'm going to actually duck under it like God intended. And then, duck under this. Wait for it. And you can jump over them, too. So don't count that out. You can shoot through them. Make sure you don't hit them. These archers are like a main like component of the level, the things you can see. You can see a bunch of like enemies too and them shooting at you, but they never hit you. They're not like an enemy you have to even be worried about at all. You really just have to be worried about all these like explosives. Um, also, if you wait here, you get a mana coin, but if you wait here, you get a puzzle piece. Just shoot right there. I mean, it's not like you'd shoot right away anyway. They're still trying to shoot at you and they just fall over and die. Goodbye. There's nothing over there, don't try. Believe me, I've jumped off that cliff a few times. And another puzzle piece is right over there, as you saw on the left side. So these guys carrying the bombs won't do anything to you. Kill this guy and grab the O first. Make sure to do it. Or you will die. Grab this bomb. Run over here, throw it at that wall, and then go right in. Then you get another secret level in this one with five puzzle pieces only. It's really weird how they didn't put more puzzle pieces in a cannon-based level, but I digress. Alright, get these bananas. Those bananas. This banana. That banana. These bananas. Those bananas. All bananas. One banana, two banana, three banana, four banana puzzle piece. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Alright, moving along. Roll through him. As you saw down here, there's some secrets. Which is another puzzle piece! So, it's really weird to have the puzzle pieces so close to each other. Also, uh, these won't break anything. You just have to avoid them. Just wait a little bit before them, I guess. Not this one. This one's gonna break on top of you. <laughs> uh, with these ones, you have to time them perfectly. Otherwise, you're gonna get you're gonna die. Oh god! Like that one, you just want to shoot over here. This one, you can shoot right away. This one, you can shoot down here. These ones, you can shoot into these. These ones, you can shoot into these. Then you can shoot right away. Just shoot right away. You'll get the end. If you wait for it, you're gonna miss it. Because you're going to think, oh, there's the end. It's just staying there. It's not staying there. It's going to go away. You've got to be really careful. It... Speaking of being careful, I wasn't right there. Also, the G is right here, which I think is incredibly hard to time. Oh, I have to be really careful about this G. Shoot it. Now? Not now. Darn. Well, better kill myself. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm back in this barrel, I'm not going to screw it up this time. There we go. Got it! Yes! Okay, and as you noticed, I only got four out of five puzzle pieces. I was going to show this off rather than killing myself, but all you have to do, jump in that left barrel, puzzle pieces right underneath it, boom, you're done. Okay, cool. And 996 banana coins, jeez. I'm going to hit the Gatchapon machine before the next episode. So, whoo! Now that those three levels are all done, I'd like to say thank you all so very much for watching. Herpter, I am Walrus, and I'll see you when we finish up the Bright Savannah. 
See you later.